Hello and welcome back to NG Trace. It's great to see you back here again and thank you to my 350,000 plus subscribers. You're more than welcome. So today we're going to be having a go with this. This is the Swan entry level coffee machine. Now this is the scaled down version of what you're going to see in Starbucks. We're going to be using real ground coffee, not pods or anything from any of the machines today. And we're going to be frothing up milk with real steam so I would say this is a lot more fun it's a lot more time uh, and effort to get it right and it's a lot more cleaning probably better for the planet because all you're actually throwing away and recycling is ground coffee um, if you want to grind your own you do it ahead of, of this using this machine but it's very natty um, it's very good you should be looking to spend about £100 or $110 something like that on this and I'll put the links below. So the first thing we need to do is to fill your tank with water. Uh, you'll find there's a max line there. Now this just slides into the back and docks in. Make sure you've got that in correctly. You know it's the number one problem people have with coffee machines is not docking the tank. And when you're doing your cleaning uh, with a microfiber, make sure you clean around where the tank and the uh, base unit exchange water. Having a close up look to what you've got, so you've got the base machine and you turn that on, that's very easy, it's the last button there, and you've got a red light there, and this has got a temperature gauge here, and you need to be to about there, you'll see a little cup for actually um, brewing your coffee, and need to be round this end here to be able to use the steam and really froth up the milk. So we're gonna get it on first, but actually I've had this on before, I have a little play and you can see that's already gone green. So there's an on button, this is the button to force the water under pressure through the coffee grounds and this is the button to operate the steam on the edge here when you're ready to make your milk. So well, what we're going to do first of all, I'll show you how to fill up. I think we've all seen the baristas using these bits of kit, haven't we, in our favourite coffee shop and I'll just show you actually what you need to do with that. So you'll find with the Swan, you've got this one, which is your padder down or damper down, just to compact it, and you've got a spoon. And you've got two little inserts there. Uh, one is double the size of the other. And on this, uh, you'll find there's a little, little sort of uh, knob there, and that just clips in there. And then you've now got that in correctly. All this needs to be washed, obviously, before you use it, if, it's, if you've just been given this or a similar machine for Christmas. So I find that just one of these costas is actually enough for me. So just that popped in. I don't want to go too near the edge. Compact that down a little bit. And now that is ready. You can see that I've chosen a little glass and I've gone for glass so you can actually see what's happening there. So we're almost ready. We're just moving into the red there. The temperature's moving up nicely. Okay, we're ready now. So you should be able to feel under here where this clips in. You should just feel it there. And it should be pointing to you right off the edge of there. And as you gradually come round, you'll get some resistance. And it should be locked about there, just in front of you. So we started there, which is, if you're on the clock, I guess it's about half past seven, and then get it around to six o'clock. Right, now we're gonna put this glass here, and I'll turn that around so you can see. Now you don't want to pull too much through of this, because you are producing an espresso. If you pull too much water through, um, you are going to make the coffee a little bit weak. So the next thing we want to do is to uh, get the steam ready, so we're going to push this button here 
and make sure this knob is firmly round to zero and actually this will start to heat up a bit so it should get a little bit hotter so we can get the best steam so while that's building up the uh, temperature let's top up my milk yeah. there you want about halfway to two thirds of the way there with your milk and we can see this is uh, building up nicely now so with your jug and the nozzle well underneath the milk start to let out this hot steam great noise if you're doing this at Christmas this is how you impress your friends in the dining room waiting for their coffee you tend not to get all that sort of noise do you with a coffee machine now some people have a jug that will be telling you the temperature of the milk here um, if you find that easier then that's fine I just want to warm up that milk and froth that and this is very much depending on what you're making a latte or a cappuccino but you get the gist of it there and then you turn that one off and we're going to flip the button on the top off there and then as they do in the coffee shop so you don't burn all that milk onto that chrome you need to wipe that off with a microfiber otherwise that'll go a bit caramelly so if you just want to put some hot milk in there it's like that you get any swirl effect and then actually depending on so you'd have a cappuccino cup but you wouldn't see what was going on if I use that you can now put that on there and if you want to now at this stage you could sprinkle some hot chocolate powder on the top if that's what people like and you can see you've now made your very first coffee with an espresso machine well done you just try that now Oh, that is fantastic okay a couple of things we need to do now uh, we need to turn the machine off which is this one remember now you've got pressure in here so I just leave this slightly here and let that, some of that steam out of there this we can undock and this just needs to be emptied in your food waste and then rinse through under the tap run a little bit like that just so we don't leave the pressure in the machine obviously if you're making multiple drinks and it's fine to leave the pressure in there for five or ten minutes and you'll see on the gauge that the temperature drops down as well as we let out that spare pressure so that I've just rinsed out under the tap that's ready to go if you've got any spill here you've got two parts of your tray here that um, you can just rinse out um, this bit can, this bit can't go in the dishwasher, it's only the metal bit. And the rest of it is a white round with a microfiber cloth. So I hope you found it useful. Any questions, put them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is Paul from London and I'll see you in the next video.